All right, seriously, this is like take 500 already. I've been trying to do some something like this on the bench for, I guess, the entire weekend, and uh, something's been going on, so... Anyway, here we go. Take 900. Okay, I'm working on this Naboo Star... Ooh, man, I gotta clean up that charcoal bit right there. Anyway, this is the Naboo Starfighter. Uh, some of you Star Wars fans may recognize this from the original The Phantom Menace movie. Um, but I've run it... Okay, it's it's just pretty much primed out. i got still got to work on this seam right here, but... i got to work on getting this primer off here. This is some really soft plastic right here. And, uh... The primer stays pretty sticky on there. But although it, it seems to have... I just don't want to scratch it, you know, because... Anyway, it seems to dry a little easier on, on this part here, but not so much on this surface. Uh, I'm going to have to work on it, take it off, and I think I'm going to see what I can do with that fusion spray paint to at least get a base coat on there, and uh, hopefully once I have that base coat on, I can paint on top of that paint. Um... It's already coming off pretty bad on the tail fin here. Uh, let me see if I can find it right there. That's just with my nail, just scratching it like that, and the paint just comes off in sheets like that. It's doing it right now. Look, for your enjoyment. Uh, so that's where I'm at with this right now. Uh, I need to figure out a solution to this because uh, any of you who uh, know me from a uh, scale model attic and uh, e-scale you know that I'm I'm on a kick for this right now so uh, so anyway if this solution does not present itself then uh, I'm gonna be delayed on a lot of parts cuz uh, a lot of guns a lot of uh, tips are really made out of this stuff and uh, I don't know if I'm well you know maybe I can kinda sculpt one out out of uh, polymer clay and uh, stick it in there but we'll see we'll see what, what develops with this but for the most part I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these nose caps because I will not be able to sculpt those out symmetrically with my hands you know so uh, we'll see what, what happens but uh, here we go with a further update a little further on down the uh, the workbench over here on this side I found these guys right here in the uh, in my garage again. I had to go do some digging, but I found a couple of speeder bikes. I'm gonna paint those, get those ready. I found a sand trooper. This guy, I don't, you know, I don't know what line this is from, but uh, I found him. Replaced the little the little gun that he had already, and. Uh, He's good to go with this guy, and I don't know if this is still like movie accurate or not, but I found this dew back from the uh, this I think is from uh, the uh, the special edition trilogy where they added all of the uh, special effects or added enhanced special effects. Sorry, uh, so um, this is really great for scaring the dogs. You know, like you put this on the kitchen floor and do that and dogs scatter apparently with that so that's a lot of fun uh, I also found this little guy right here so this is gonna get a nice little repaint I'll make it a little more movie accurate uh, get rid of the seam work right there or get rid of the seams uh, and see what happens with this guy right here because uh, I always thought that was pretty cool uh, so anyway, just a little status update. I have a whole lot of stuff coming in from eBay. Uh, ow, excuse me. Can I afford the stuff on eBay? No, but I got it anyway. Uh, so, let me put this together and get this out of the way. Because I also have another project that I have been working on that I want to show off. I have, excuse me, I have a, uh, an X-Wing, and it's not one of the X-Wings that, uh, 
that you can put a figure in. It was it was the Force FX again a release for the special edition uh, movie uh, with the enhanced special effects. This one had a Luke Skywalker that had a moving head. To I guess the gimmick was because you could see his head moving around in Star Star Wars. But I got this. I've already started butchering it away. So what I've done is I've removed. Uh, a good probably inch and a half from the uh, the dashboard here I tried to make make the cut as straight as I could but it's slightly askew what I need to do is get rid of these panels now so that I can actually get a figure in there and also let me open this up so you can see it because there is an issue here with uh, where the batteries are and in, in, in relation to trying to put a figure in so it's going to cause a problem. See, so right where the figure's feet should be coming in here, there is a battery pack. So I think I am going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to see if I can just put it, well, see, I don't want to lose all the lights, though, in the engines, you know, so maybe I can... You know, Grendel, I may come come to you asking what to do with this because uh, the way it looks, I think there's what, one, two, three, four. These must be for the engine lights. So if I can kind of cannibalize these and hook them up to be a little persistent and get rid of the speaker because I don't need to hear the little munchkin-like Luke Skywalker voice anymore. So I just want to have some lights in this. So uh, if I can cannibalize the electronics that are in here already I will if I can't then uh, I don't know we will see what I can do uh, so that's a little further on down the road and uh, probably gonna get rid of the trigger that comes out from the bottom also just saw it off but gotta get all these wires back in there and seal this thing up again but I just like the sheer size and this is actually you know relatively closer to scale so I like this uh, version of the X-Wing again um, I hope I cut the, the wires already so it's yeah okay that's as good as it's gonna get right now so uh, with any luck I'll be able to fit a few figures in there uh, I've got a couple of alien uh, figures uh, X-Wing pilots already so uh, that's a possibility for an alternate version of this X-Wing so we'll catch up with you later I'll see you soon happy modeling get out there and do something bye